this is Jack and welcome to another video. Today I have a quick little tip for Safari um, and it's actually quite useful tip. I'm just going to open a window and go to some news site because I want text and uh, suppose I'm reading something, for example, this uh, Brazilian or journalist from Brazil unhappy with relegation from to sideline at World Cup. I can just drag in, uh, say, Brazilian legend, uh, this guy, don't know how to say his name. And you can, what you can do is, my tip is you can drag the text directly into Safari, uh, the icon, and you just drop it and it will give you a Google search window. And the benefit of using this method uh, versus right-clicking and search with Google is that my, uh, this, my method or you know, the other method, it gives you a new page, a new window, so you don't, have to, you don't lose what you were reading before. And um, it works with Google, but you can also switch your, uh, switch your thing to, for example, Bing. And, uh, well, uh, hold on, let me go back to my article. And I think it also works with Bing, but let's just try. I can drag, oops, oops. Drag that in here. And oh, I guess it only works with Google. So um, it sucks for people who use Yahoo and Bing. This little trick does not work for you guys. I'm gonna switch mine back to Google because that's what I use. And yeah, so that's a little quick little tip for you guys. Uh, please follow me on Twitter. I'm twitter.com slash beautiful code. And I hope you guys enjoy this little quick tip about Safari. And uh, may, may you happily browse uh, Safari using this tip in mind. Thanks guys.